And from the booze, uh, the, uh, wait a minute, here he comes. Pretty boy Bobby Heenan. Pretty boy Bobby Heenan is entering the ring. We've got to find out what this is all about. He's in crutch. He's, uh, his knee is taped up. And, uh, he's uh, fans, here's Pretty Boy Bobby Heenan. Now, just a moment. Now, you're... you're you signed to wrestle Cowboy Bob Ellis, and I saw you recently, and you were perfectly all right. Well, let me explain what happened. Came down to watch the matches. Now, as I did that, I fell and hit my knee on the step. I've had it checked, and I just can't wrestle tonight. Now, I came out here for one purpose. That's to show the people and everybody that I have good intentions. Uh, I wanted to beat this farmer, this hayseed hillbilly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the schedule matches Pretty Boy Bobby Heenan against Cowboy Bob Ellis. I wanted to wrestle him. I'm perfectly capable of wrestling him right now, but they won't let me wrestle. As you see, I have a brace on my leg. As iron supports, I'm on a crutch. I don't know how long I'll be on the crutch, but... I would like right now to have a postponement. Maybe in the next couple months, maybe five or six months, then my knee will be ready, just like Lance's will hurt, and I'll be able to wrestle. I'm not able to wrestle. I, I just, He's mad enough to come up here and act like a gentleman that he is. Yeah, that's more than a lot of people have shown. I just ask a little consideration at all. Bob, I think he's trying to edge his way out of the match. Well, I don't know, but I said it was all right, just not too long. Yes, before. I... Uh, you're right there. No, like I said, I fell on the step. I hurt my leg. Would you check and see if it would be okay if they could postpone this for a couple months, maybe five or six months? If you sign for this match and you got to go through it. No, no, wait. No, wait. Gentlemen, no, about this, no, he's got a hurt knee. I realize, I realize, I realize I signed for this. Fans, I, I, I don't know what to say. Referee, he's a leg that hurt. You can't see me with a bad leg like that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how, what what the outcome of this will be. Bob, Bobby Heenan has entered the ring with a crutch. Claims that he cannot wrestle. Bob Ellis is ready. With Heenan are Lance and Mulligan. And there's a big argument going on in the ring. We saw Heenan not too long ago, and he was all right, but you heard his explanation. are sanctioned by the State Athletic Commission, which has appointed as your referee, Henry Van Loon, the timekeeper, Harry Black. This match has a 15-minute time limit, one fall to a finish. Introducing at a weight of 252 pounds from San Angelo, Texas, the great cowboy, Bob Ellis. And his opponent for this match at 232 pounds from Beverly Hills, California, the one and only pretty boy, Bobby Heenan. Well, fans, I don't know how we can have this match because Heenan just claims he absolutely cannot wrestle. And uh, the referee doesn't believe him. Anyway, lands that mulligan. Oh, Bobby Heenan ran at Ellis and attempted to hit him with the front. Ellis ducked. And now, oh, let it, Cowboy Bob Ellis. <laughs> Ellis is working over Lance on Mulligan. And Heenan is, oh, there it goes, the Bulldog headlock. He has laid out Lance, and now he's working on Mulligan. Heenan is making himself scarce. He drops Mulligan. Hey, now he's chasing him. Now he's chasing Heenan. Lanza and Mulligan are out cold as a result of the Bulldog headlock. And Heenan is taking off. The man is chasing! Two! Three! The man is chasing! The man's insane! You think I'm getting in with him? Hey! 
The referee is counting Heenan. The man's a lunatic. Heenan is on the outside. You kill me. Ladies and gentlemen. The man's a lunatic. The match is over. You've been counted out. Count and out. the winner is Bob Ellis. Count it out. Fans, here he is. Cowboy Bob Ellis. Well, Bob, he tried to hit you with that crutch. Oh, and boy, you really moved fast and got away. And Ben, here, laying on the mat. They're on the mat right now. Lanza and Mulligan are still just about out as a result. Hey, Mr. Manager, I don't know what them studs got in for me. I didn't come up here to fight nobody like that, but they want to fight. I'll show enough to guide them. Well, you did a beautiful job. Lanza and Mulligan are still on the mat. And Heenan, who, of course, didn't have anything wrong with his leg, his helping them out. Well, I'd like you to notice how he's getting around on that leg now. Yeah. Nothing wrong with him now. Well, Bob, you know you are considered to be one of America's greatest, and you certainly proved it today, the way you laid these fellows out. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Manager, I just like to fight good, clean wrestlers, and that's what I want, but if these studs want to play something rough, I'll sure enough go with them. Well, they've got the rough men around here, and, uh, man, the way I fans, I just can't get over the way Cowboy Bob Ellis went to work on Lanza and Mulligan, and he even made himself scarce. And as you pointed out, he moved. Well, but he's getting around pretty good on that leg. I think I ought to go get him right now, boy. Before he gets out well, of that Bob, you don't have to do it. You proved your point, ladies and gentlemen. This is the great Cowboy Bob Ellis, and I know there's a lot of rough guys around here that you can take care of. But I sure would like to try, Mr. Maker, and it's always nice talking to you. Thank you very much, fans. Cowboy Bob Ellis, what a great man. And there is... Well, What's he counting me out for? Well, I've got a bad leg. You move hey, let me fans tell you getting away. Let me tell you something. When a crazy man is facing you, you can develop powers you wouldn't normally have. Ladies. The leg is sore. He's trying to take advantage of me. The ref took advantage of me. Ladies and gentlemen, he we'll... A mistake of touching those two. The match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be talking with some distinguished guests in just a moment. I would like to remind you again, now, we're getting a lot of mail for the wrestlers, and we certainly appreciate it, but to, to, uh, for the mail to reach the wrestlers more quickly, don't send them to the station. Send them to Post Office Box 22342, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46. Two two 